Fat Burn, the new book, you're always burning and fasting and fat and being fast and fat and getting rid of fat. And you look amazing. So I know whatever you're doing is working. And I don't know how much of that is genetics. I imagine some of it is, but some of it is habits as well. So tell me about this fasting, because I'm fascinated by it. Okay. The first thing I want to say is anyone out there who's trying to lose weight, who has tried other programs before and has not worked, if you're on Facebook, Go right now to my Facebook page. I have 11,000 people who are doing it together. It's called Fast Burn Challenge. Fast Burn Challenge. 11,000 people from all over the world are doing it. The results are simply ridiculous. Let me explain to you really quickly what Fast Burn is. It's a nine-week program. Every week of the program is completely different. I use different strategies every week to help you not just lose weight, but also to burn your fat. I'm going to explain how that works in a second. I took 2,000 people in Facebook before I published the book. The average weight loss was 15 to 17 pounds in nine weeks. There's nothing extreme about the program. It's regular food, it's affordable food. You don't have to go to five different grocery stores. And you know what? I don't take a lot away. You can still have alcohol. You can have um, pasta. You're gonna have steak. You're gonna have fish. You're gonna have almost everything. You're not gonna have soda, okay? But you pizza, you can have, pancakes, you can have. So people say, well, how can you still lose weight on a program that allows you to have all this. And that is where the intermittent fasting comes in. So I do two styles of intermittent fasting here. I do something called time-restricted feeding. And then I do the 5-2 method. Time-restricted feeding is what everyone knows about. That's where you take the 24 hours of a day and you divide it into an eating window where you eat all your meals and snacks. So people who see fast and think starvation, no, it's not. You're gonna have all your meals and snacks in your fat in your eating window. And then you're gonna have a fasting window. Those two windows add up to 24 hours. And you do that every day for a week, same schedule. Then if you want to change it after a week, you can change it. Now, you said earlier, 18 hours. Wow, that's a long fast. I don't recommend anyone do an 18 hour fast because think about it, you're only eating for six hours. Now, extreme athletes and people like that, they do that kind of stuff, but we're not extreme athletes. I tell people, start off with 12, 12, 12 hours of fasting, 12 hours of feeding. Do that for about a week and a half, two weeks. Then increase your fast. Go 14, 10. Once again, we're adding up to 24. And the last stage is 16, 8. Now that is the one where you are really cooking with oil. Now here's the key. The reason why fast burn is taking fat off is because I'm flipping your body into what's called a negative energy state. Positive energy means, food, by the way, has energy. Calories is a measurement of energy. Positive energy means you've eaten more calories than you're burning off. So you're in the positive, correct? Simple math. Positive energy means you gain weight. When you are in a negative energy state, this is the key here. That means that the food you are eating, okay? The food you're eating does not meet your body's energy demands, okay? So what does the body do? The body goes into your fat stores. Why? Because fat is a storage form of energy and it breaks down the fat and it retools it so your body can now use that for fuel. It does that during your fasting phase and that's why you shrink fat, particularly around your abdominal area where it's very stubborn. So the longer the fasting phase you choose, back to our numbers, 14, 10, 16, eight, first one being the fasting, the longer your fasting phase, the more you're gonna drive your body into those fat stores and melt the fat to be used as energy. We got Dr. Ian K. Smith in the house. Fast burn is his latest. He needs us to be uh, thin, not thin, just healthy, healthy and not full of fat because fat mm -hmm. holds toxins. Fat is, is, is uh, disease ridden, it, inflammation. It's not good to have a whole lot of fat to carry around. And so he wants us to not have a lot of fat and I'm happy about that, I'm with him. And let me welcome to the show uh, a man uh, who sat in this seat and did a very stellar job. And I want to thank him publicly for holding it down. I need him to look forward and stop looking off to the side like he's taking one of them horrible pictures from the church. <laughs> you know, when you, <laughs> when you got your hand under your chin and you look it off to the side, they tell you, let me walk, <laughs> welcome crisis manager. Thank you. Crisis manager extraordinaire, Mr. Andrew McCaskill. Welcome. Karen Hunter, welcome back. I'm so glad to see your face. Good to see you. Look at you. Got your little college sweater on, looking very collegiate. <laughs> looking very collegiate. Looking crazy. Yeah. Looking like Oxford you went to work button. today. With the Oxford huh? button down. Yeah, I looking did. very I did some serious like, work today. 
<laughs> Did you look at you yeah. like he went to the office? Uh, <laughs> all right. Before you came in, we were talking with Dr. Ian about the vaccine. I know you've been vaccinated uh, yeah. and we're still resistant. And I'm again, I, I like the non shaming, but I'd like us to lean into science and making good sense and um, keeping this, yourself healthy. Uh, even through this process, does it make it easier to have less symptoms? I know, you know, the, the more you work out, the less problems you have, like going into surgery and things like that. So what are your thoughts on that, Dr. Ian? Well, here's the difficulty with COVID is that we believe that the virus really picks on people who have weakened immune systems. And that's why people who had underlying conditions have suffered so poorly with COVID because it really optimizes its chance to get to you because you're already weak and it says it's like somebody being down you kick a person when they're down already that's what COVID likes to do so one of the defenses we say is that people should try to strengthen their immune system how do you do that well vitamin c and d are great believe it or not sleeping enough exercise is important for boosting your immune system there are all kinds of ways to boost your immune system but the question still remains even if you naturally improve and strengthen your immune system as much as you can can you still be a contender against COVID? Right now, the data says no, because COVID is so unpredictable and so contagious and so tough. Now we have these variants. And what we're learning now, so the original COVID is called the wild type. That's In science, you say that's the wild type, the original strain. Now we have so many other strains. These strains are smarter, they're more infectious, and they're more impactful in a negative way. And so you know, yeah, you can boost your immune system by all means. I'm not discouraging that, but you still need to have other help against COVID to avoid potential death. And I think that's why we're pushing the vaccine. Listen, the vast majority of people who get infected by COVID survive. We know that. The data says, okay, yeah, but do you want to be someone who has a long haul or who has symptoms, you know, for a long time? Do you want to go through what people go through while they have COVID? I would say you probably don't want to do it, but, you know, people are playing their odds. Those aren't the odds I want to take. All right, let's get back to this fast burn. Nine week program, nine week program. You can start your nine weeks anytime, even though your Facebook group is starting this week. Yes, and people already joined we- it from the show already, by the way. All right, I, lo- I love us, you know, because yeah. th- there's an, a, a definitive mission here. Everyone, I want to be happy, live their best happy lives. And we can't do that being um, feeling bad about ourselves, especially coming out of COVID. Now that things are yeah. opening up, a lot of us have put on weight that we, you know, because we on Zoom from the waist up, What's going on from the waist down? Lord only knows. Nobody <laughs> needs to see it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We've been wearing stretchy sweatpants, so we don't even know we can fit into our work clothes anymore. Those of us who've tried them on, like, oh, okay, this could zip up, but not now. So we know we got to, you know, we used to do our swimsuit body, you know, our beach body. Now right. it's like, can we get rid of the COVID-19 pounds that we put on? So nine weeks, why nine weeks? Um, first, let me just say hello to Eileen Salary, who's one of your listeners who hit me up on Instagram, uh, who said she's joining. So what's up, Eileen? Uh, and those who want to hit me up at Dr. Ian Smith, spell the doctor out, I-A-N Smith. Nine weeks because of this. You need at least two months to really, of, of any kind of plan, to really see some tangible results, okay? And I also have realized over the years that people can stick to two months. You know, I've done three months, I've done a month. Two months, people say, you know, I could do it for two months. Now, the reason why it's nine weeks is because the first four weeks is when I start teaching you about intermittent fasting. We start changing slowly, not gradually. I mean, not dramatically, slowly. We change how you eat and how you move. That's four weeks. People lose about 30% of the total weight loss of the nine weeks in those four weeks. Then the fifth week is intermission. It's a break. It's like, okay, let's relax a little bit. Okay. No diet ever does that. I'm saying, okay, guys, let's take a break. Let's reset. Eat some of those foods that you might have missed. And then we go into the last four weeks, which is acceleration. We're putting the pedal to the metal. Those last four weeks is when people really drive into their fat stores and start melting the fat as well as losing weight. So nine weeks is a plan that people can stick to. It's not too long. It's not too short to see good results. Uh, And once again, if you look at the recipes, by the way, the recipe section, people realize you're eating regular food. One of my favorites is page 273, which is the tender baked pork chops. So, you know, it's, it's all regular food, uh, strip steak, uh, my grandmother's, you know, pancake recipe. Uh, and people are saying, I can eat like this forever. This is just regular eating. I'm just eating healthier. What is it? What is, you said you can drink, you can eat pancakes, yes. meat. Yes. What is restricted on this and during this nine weeks? Well, we're not going to have fried foods. 
uh, you know, it's just not not good for us. We're not going to have soda. Um, we're going to instead of have white bread, we're going to have whole grain bread, but you're going to have some bread. Um, we're going to have sweet potatoes instead of white potatoes. I mean, it's not a lot of there's pizza on the program. I mean, there's a lot that's on there. People are shocked of all the choices they have. And by the way, you can be a vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, meat eater, it doesn't matter. You can do fast burn because as you can see, if you open the book, every day I give you options for every meal. So every day is spelled out for you. Meal one, snack one, meal two, snack three, blah, blah. Every day it says, here are three or four options. And no matter how you eat, there's an option there for you. Okay. 866-801-8255. Drew, you got any questions before we go to the calls? So is, is it really more so about what you put in your body versus how much you're moving your body around? I eat pretty healthy, Dr. Ian, but I can tell you that I'm like 20 pounds overweight from COVID just because I'm eating healthy, but I'm eating all the time, right? Yeah. Like I'm, I'm 255. And what can- You're what, 255? Where, I'm 255. Well, he's 6'3" too so he's like six, okay two, six, you don't yeah. look 255 by the way um but can i just say this you raise a very interesting point i tell people all the time it's not always what you eat it's when you eat it and so in fast burn i also teach you when to eat the foods so that you can maximize your performance on it and the other part of your question about movement i tell people all the time i've had people in the 2000 people that tested the beta tested fast burn there were people who did no exercise but they lost 35% less than the people who actually did the exercise. And by the way, the exercise okay. is onerous. It's 30 minutes, four or five days a week. You can do 15 in the morning, 15 at night. You don't have to go to a gym, by the way. I give you exercise chapter in the book, showing you how to do it, but you need to move regularly. Uh, and when you do that, you are burning these calories on top of eating better. And that's the one-two punch that we talk about. 